It's a horrible day in the mass pit. A horrible day in the mass pit. It's so creepy and so spooky as you get down the rickety stairs. Hey everyone, Nick down here in the mass pit. Yeah, I'm back with another kind of crazy project because I don't know exactly what to do. Well, first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, touch on uh, something else before I get into my project here. Um, getting some stuff from my mom's house and finding some old artwork that I used to do. And uh, this is... Uh, well, let me get a close-up of this. Okay, now this is a little uh, picture that I did of my dog, Mitzi. And uh, I'm guessing I was maybe uh, 16 or 17 years old. And I did this little montage of, uh, of our dog there. And uh, I also came across this one here. I used to do a lot of, uh, a lot of drawing in my younger years, before I got into sculpting and everything. This one is of Johnny Cash. Where's my glasses? Well, yeah. Here's a little picture of Johnny Cash here. And uh, these were done in oil pastels, which was my favorite medium to work in. Um, actual paint, whether oil or acrylic, used to scare me. <laughs> I was afraid to use them. So I got in with oil pastels, which kind of reminded me of crayons. And that was more, that was less intimidating. So I used to do a lot of pictures in crayons, or, or oil pastels. And I'm thinking of getting back into it. I'm thinking of getting back into it, but, but let me know... Uh, let me know what you think. Is it worth me getting back into it? Not that I have a whole lot of free time, but I'm thinking, you know, it might be nice to do a few sketches here and there um, if I have a little downtime or something. And, of course, this I did a lot of pictures of Elvis, too. I used to, I used to love to draw pictures of Elvis. And this was before the Michael Myers stage of my life because Michael Myers wasn't even invented yet. So now, um, yeah, this may be my new subject. So let me know what you think. Should I get back into uh, to doing artwork like this? But anyway, here's what here's what the video is all about, um, and it's this right here. You see, I have him veiled because <laughs> it is so hideous. Now, kids under 12 years old may want to turn off your YouTube right now because it's pretty, pretty, disgustingly hideous scary, something probably you're not used to seeing, and what, let me tell you this, use this phrase, once you see this, you can't unsee it, alright, so I'm going to get a close-up, and I'm going to unveil it. All right, now just remember, I warned you, once you see this, you can't unsee it. So here it goes. <laughs> um, this is the uh, 2018 mask that somebody tried to rehaul. And it didn't quite work out the, the, the way that they wanted it to work out, I guess. And so they asked me if I could do anything with it. So... My typical, now I have done a couple rehauls of rehauls, and I'm not doing them anymore. So don't send me rehauls of rehauls, because I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody now. There's so much more work that goes into rehauling a rehaul, because I have to undo somebody else's work, that it is cheaper to go out and get a new mask and send it to me. And I don't know what you want to do with your own rehaul. But it is not worth the time and effort for me to rehaul a rehaul, so I do not do it. However, I did make an exception with this one 
for the mere fact that I thought it would make a, uh, a good YouTube video. So you can see now the, uh, the paint has peeled away. He tried to peel the paint off. And the paint is on pretty thick. You can peel it off here. The paint is on pretty thick. And all of the wrinkles that are in a typical 2018 mask are pretty much filled in. Now, I don't know if he filled this these in intentionally or if it's just because the paint is on here so thick. So, I looked at this and I looked at this and I'm like, what in God's name am I going to do with this? So, I cannot turn this back into a typical 2018 mask. There's just no way. Um, the time and effort it would take to get all this paint off would just be astronomical and I don't have time and I'm not going to do it. So, but I did come up with an idea. I don't know how it's going to come out. So, you're going to just watch me work on it and uh, maybe the um, final outcome will be <laughs> it can't get much worse than this. So, uh, okay, so I am going to get to work.
gave, the more excited they were, the more excited he was, and the more he brought to the performance. Japanese audiences were very reserved. They didn't react with the same enthusiasm as American audiences. All right, so I am going to do another unveiling. Um, I fixed the hair, got it to where it looks pretty cool, I think. And I'm sure, I mean, you've seen the before pictures. It's a mask that somebody probably wouldn't even have thought twice about tossing in the trash. Like, oh, uh, there, there's just no hope for it. But here it is, are you, are you ready? Ooh, I'm liking it pretty much. I'm liking it pretty much. And I'm calling it the mask that you can't unsee. <laughs> or uh, maybe the 2025 mask. But I kind of like the mask you can't unsee. I mean, it has a whole new different life. And, you know, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure nobody would want to throw this in the trash after they had it. So I hope the uh, original owner is happy with it. And let me tell you something. If you're not happy with it, I will buy this mask from you. Now, I'm not going to offer you like $1,000 or anything, but for a mask that you probably would have thrown away, I will buy it from you. But I don't want you selling it to anybody else but me. Since I did do this for free, um, I'll, I'll do it this way. If you get a thousand dollars, give me, give me, um, give me three hundred. If you if you get a thousand dollars, or even if you get six hundred, give me three hundred. <laughs> it's very hard to get the white balance right. That's why I put the white poster board behind there because it's very, it's always hard when you have a delicately yellowed mask it either wants to read it as too yellow or too white it's very hard to get actual uh, yellow value I also did the uh, I, I, I replaced the front hairline I left the back because once again, I did do this for free, <laughs> and um, and I left the you know with the scalp showing through because this is exactly what the mask would look like. It wouldn't be a full head of thick hair. You'd have uh, patches missing, and it would look pretty gnarly. So I just left it like that. And I tried to blend the camel hair in with the darker hair that was on there. I think it worked. I think it worked out pretty good. I'm very, very, very happy with this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the making of the mask that can't be unseen. <laughs> I, actually, I, I really love this mask. I'm falling in love with this mask uh, the more I look at it. Uh, and I know at the beginning of this video, I said, you know, I do not do rehauls of rehauls. I have changed my mind. Because now I am accepting rehauls of rehauls if you have a rehaul that you think there's no hope for I can give it this treatment and uh, I can't tell you what it's going to look like because every uh, every rehaul of a rehaul will look a little different but if you want to give it a whirl contact me right here mm -hmm. and uh, you know we'll get the ball rolling <laughs> future videos coming up um, pancakes in a cup I just wrapped up the shooting I started it last sometime last winter I think and I just I just finished wrapping up and that video will change your life about the way you eat pancakes yep it will um, I've got another the, my Elvis video 
uh, where I remastered the 77 concert. Yeah, that's coming up. I had to put, that's been on the shelf for a little while, but uh, I have to shoot a beginning and an ending because I want to do an intro. Uh, so that is coming up. And of course, more mass stuff and everything. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, if, if you think I should get back into uh, doing some more portrait kind of stuff, artwork, let me know. And uh, otherwise, what is that? <laughs> otherwise, I will see you uh, once again. And until then, have a horrible day. Oh, where did that come from? Ooh, spooky things going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>